guys, it's Rachel from Desert Blossom Crafts back with another stitch tutorial. Today I'm excited to share a tutorial that is updated and revamped for the pumpkin patch stitch. I created this stitch a few years ago, but unfortunately back then I did not know how to make video tutorials, so the video that's currently available is not very clear at all, so I wanted to redo it, especially since fall is coming up, and show you exactly how you can make these cute little pumpkin bobbles step by step. So we will get right into the tutorial. Now as you start making the stitch you may want the written instructions. These are available for free on my blog as well as in an ad free PDF with some bonus fall themed stitch patterns. I will put the link to both of those things down in the description box so you can have the choice to either just view it free on the blog or print it out with some other stitches as well. Just check out the description for all the information on that. Now for materials you're just going to need some worsted weight yarn and an H 5mm crochet hook. You can actually use any yarn and hook combination that you'd like but I found that this combo works really well. So I've just got some orange for the pumpkins and some light brown slash tan for the stems. This is Red Heart Super Saver, but you can use any worsted weight yarn. So to make a little swatch, I have started out with a foundation single crochet row of 14 stitches. The stitch multiple for this stitch is 3 plus 2, and that is for the foundation single crochet row. So you can make any number of stitches you'd like that is a multiple of 3 plus 2 extra stitches on the end. Now if you're unfamiliar with foundation single crochet, you can check out a video I made about it in the cards. I love using this technique, but you can also make a regular chain row and then a row of single crochet and you'll be at the same exact point as I am. Once you've got your foundation row done, we're going to move into our next row, which is technically row one. This is like the foundation row. So chain one and turn and we're just going to single crochet in each stitch across. So there's three, four, five, and just continue to single crochet until you get to the end. For row two, we're going to make our first row of bobbles. So this time we're going to chain one again, and we're going to make a half double crochet in the first stitch. So again, this chain will not count as a stitch. So go ahead and make a half double crochet into the first stitch and a half double crochet into the next stitch. Now we're going to make our first bobble. So to make our bobble, go ahead and yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. So now we have here kind of like a unfinished half double crochet or an unfinished double crochet, but we're not going to finish it. We're going to make some more unfinished ones into the same stitch. So yarn over again, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. And we're going to do that until we have a total of six loops on our hook. So right now I have five, so we need to do that one more time. Yarn over, insert hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. So now we have six loops and we're gonna yarn over and pull through all six loops. And then we are going to half double crochet into the next two stitches. One and two. Now if we turn it around, we can see our first bobble puffing out from the back of the work, which is exactly what we want. So let's do that one more time together. Yarn over, insert hook, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull through two. Now we're going to do that four more times. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull through two. There's our third time. You can see we have three little unfinished half double crochets and four loops. Again. Now we have five loops, so we have just one more time. Yarn over, insert into that same stitch, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull through two. Now we have all six loops, 
and we're going to yarn over and pull through all of them. And then from here, we're just going to half double crochet into this next stitch. Now make sure, um, because this bobble is so big, we just want to make sure that we tighten this loop so we don't end up with a really loose half double crochet. And that will just close off the bobble really nicely. Now to finish this row, we're going to do another bobble, another two half double crochet, another bobble, and then finish with two half double crochet. So here you can see I've made my last bobble. I have four going along the back. And to finish off this row, I'm just going to do my two final half double crochets. And that is the end of row two. So row three is probably considered the hardest part about this stitch. There's a little bit of color work involved, but don't worry, I'm going to take you through it step by step and explain every little bit to you. So go ahead and have your contrasting color ready because we're going to need that pretty quickly into the row. So grab your swatch and to start, chain one, turn, and single crochet into the first stitch, but we're not going to finish this single crochet. We're going to yarn over, pull up a loop, and now we're going to finish this stitch with the contrasting color so that we can make the stem of the first pumpkin. So to do this, grab your contrasting color and just yarn over with it and pull it through. And then you can tighten the orange a little bit. And now we're going to work one stitch with our new contrasting color. So to do this, we're going to make a single crochet two together in a kind of an interesting way. So bear with me here. We're going to start by inserting our hook into the next stitch, which is technically the next half double crochet, even though it looks like it's the top of the bobble, it's technically the next half double crochet. So insert your stitch into the top there, pull up a loop, and you can kind of pull this, this end to kind of tighten it too. And now we're going to insert our hook into the center of the bobble. So there's not really a specific place for this, we just want it to look like it's a stem coming out of the pumpkin. So I'm just going to insert about right here, yarn over from the back, and pull this loop up. Now I have three loops on my hook, and instead of yarning over with the contrasting color and pulling through, we actually have to grab the orange again. So we're just going to take this working end from the back, pull it up, and yarn over with it. So now we have our stem made, but we can continue in the orange for a few stitches. So at this point, you just want to kind of tighten all the ends so that it's not too loose, and it'll get easier as we go along. But now just make a single crochet into the next stitch, and another single crochet. But on this single crochet, we're going to do the same thing where we yarn over with the contrasting color again. So go ahead and grab it from the back, and complete the single crochet with the new color. Tighten the orange a little bit, and now we're going to make the same stem again. So let me show you how to do this again. Insert into the next stitch at the top, yarn over, pull up. Now insert into the center of the pumpkin, yarn over, pull up, and then grab your orange from the back, and yarn over and pull through with that. Now we single crochet into the next stitch, which is right here, and single crochet into the next, but this time we grab the tan again, pull through, and we're just going to repeat this process across. So now we're making the single crochet two together into the pumpkin. Now we're grabbing the orange pulling through. You can tighten that tan a little bit. Now there are a few things to note here. Here's what it's looking like. On the back you can see the tan will form these little flies, <laughs> carries along the back. If you want to eliminate that, you can by working over this tail when you do the next single crochet. So here I have my orange. What I can do is work around this tan 
for that stitch and for this stitch where I work over the tail and then yarn over with it. And if I show you the back now, it will have it will be a little less messy. You'll still be able to see it, but it won't be like this bigger tail here. So that's really up to you and how nice you want the back to look. So let's do this one last time. Insert, pull up, insert into the pumpkin, pull up, grab the orange one last time. And from here, we're just going to single crochet into the last three stitches. And there we have it. So for rows four and five, they're gonna be really simple. We're just gonna work two regular rows of single crochet in orange. But you do have a choice here when it comes to the tan. You can either just leave the tan where it's at, cut it, and then start over again when we get back to the pumpkin row. Or when you make this these next rows, you can carry it through the work so that you don't have to weave in a bunch of tan ends at the end of your project. So this is how it will look. You can see it's actually hidden pretty well, um, even though this is the front side of the work. So I'm going to go ahead and carry it just for the purposes of this video, but you can also cut it if you want to. So this is row four. I'm just single crocheting in each stitch across while carrying the tan through the row. When you get to the end, you should end up with your 14 stitches just like the beginning of the swatch. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14. Perfect. So now I'm turning chaining one and I'll bring this tan to the back so that I can carry it for one more row in the back here. And just single crochet across and make sure you just kind of tug on the tan if you're carrying it so it doesn't come through to the front on the sides. And just continue like that all the way across for row five. So at this point we have reached the row repeat for this whole stitch, you know all the steps you need to take to make it. You're just going to go back to the bobble row, which is row two, and repeat row two, three, four, and five for as many times as you would like. So there's nothing different about this bobble row and the color work row. Um, it'll just be off this row of single crochet rather than at the base, but it's the same number of stitches, so it's the exact same way to work it. You would just turn, chain one. And to get started, you would do your two half double crochet, and then you would make your first bobble. And then you do two half double crochet, bobble all the way across, and these bobbles, all the pumpkins will line up, and then you would do the same thing with your color work row coming back across to make the stems. So yeah, that's really all there is to making the pumpkin patch stitch. I hope this tutorial cleared up a lot of the confusion from the original instructions I published. If you guys like this updated tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and share it so lots more people can see it. I would also love to see you around my channel more where I publish lots more crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!